Hi, I'm Karen Falkenstrom, and I'm the director of Odaiko Sonora, the local Japanese ensemble drumming group. For a decade, we've had the honor of providing the heartbeat for the urn at the, uh, at the very beginning of the All Souls procession. This year, if you're in the right place at the right time, you'll get to see something new and very unique. So right at the beginning of the procession, and then also at the columbarium, right before the urn arrives, uh, you'll have a chance to see a form of ritual drumming and dancing. It's called ondeko, and it comes from Sato Island on Japan. The word ondeko is a combination of oni, or demon, and taiko, the drumming. In a nutshell, ondeko features masked male and female oni characters who dance to a continuous and very compelling drumbeat. The oni dance to drive off evil spirits and bring good fortune to the home or the business or the shrine where the ritual is performed. On Sado, which is a very small island, over a hundred villages observe this ondeko practice and see it as an a very important festival time each spring. We kind of think of it as a sort of spiritual house cleaning and a prayer for a bountiful harvest. Admittedly, the masks are a little scary, and it's easy to see why the word oni is most often translated as demon, but you have to look at the cultural and historical context to understand the real nature of this character. In Japan, it's common to link religious and mystical beliefs, so it's really more accurate to say that the oni is kind of a supernatural spirit, a kind of guardian or a messenger who's able to move between the realms of sacred and profane. So, between the kami, or the gods, and the people. Some oni are good, uh, some are mischievous, some malevolent, and some are a combination of all of these things, but they're very powerful beings. On Sado, the festival day begins at 5 a.m., and it may last up to 18 hours, because the drum cart will stop at all of the designated homes and businesses and temples and shrines and perform the ritual up to 100 times. There's a lot of celebration, a lot of food, a lot of drink, and a lot of good humor. But I'll mention there is an underlying faith and seriousness to this ritual. Uh, the dancers uh, in the masks have to embody the spirit of the oni during the dance. And though the oni is not bad, it is powerful and potentially wayward. So for that reason, people who've lost family members that year are not allowed to dance because they're considered too vulnerable. And then the festival, the festival day begins with a cleansing and a blessing ritual to purify all of the masks and drumsticks and other objects that are used in the ritual. Shinto priest does this at their shrine. And they also acknowledge the Shin Oni, or the newly appointed Oni, uh, who are being allowed to wear the mask for the first time. because. The village wants to acknowledge that these new oni, shin oni, are taking on a very important and possibly risky bit of business for the sake of the village. Odaiko Sonora is able to bring this demonstration to Tucson uh, because our teacher, Tiffany Tomarbuchi, has been studying ondeko in Kasuga for over a decade. Um, she was eventually given permission to start the first sanctioned North American Kasuga Onigumi, or Demon Drum Dance Group, um, and through a grant from the Arizona Commission on the Arts, I've been able to study the tradition with her and help her establish the North American group. And my fellow Odaiko Sonora and Nicole Stansbury joined us this past year, and you'll see her doing the female Oni dance at the All Souls procession. We're really excited to be bringing this ritual to Tucson. Um, it is an amazing window into ancient and contemporary Japanese culture. It is a living ritual which happens every spring on Sado Island and now will happen here in Tucson at the All Souls Procession. We wish you a very meaningful walk.